emotions. Ah, flashbacks. It's in the starter pack of every student's kit to writing a composition. Flashbacks are fine, provided you remember to return to the present at the end of the story. Often, a student starts a flashback and just ends the story suddenly. That's not good. If you have no idea what we mean, you should refer to the handout on writing flashbacks. Another thing to take note is to avoid overused flashbacks. We can't count the number of times we have read about going to the attic to remove some thick dusty book. How many of us actually have attics? Also, is it only thick dusty books that contain important memories you would like to unearth? The thick dust, dusty book in the attic flashback was probably inspired by some movie scene. Now if you've watched Jumanji, you get what we mean. The characters get flashbacks when they unearth the dusty game from some abandoned place. As a student, you can make your flashbacks different by remembering to use this. People, objects, situations. In short, P-O-S. So just remember, P-O-S, people, objects or situations that remind you of an experience in the past could work as a flashback. The concept of a flashback is based on the memory your character has. Using POS, you can avoid having to talk about dusty books in attics. Here's an example of a flashback based on the title, A Memorable Experience. As I look out the car window, I saw the sign, Bukit Batok Street 34. I was instantly reminded of the times I sped past the school gate on my bicycle. Swiss Cottage Secondary School was where I shared a memorable experience with my good friend Liu Lian. As you can see, this is a much better starter compared to digging out that dusty book from an attic, only to have a photograph fall out from its pages. Really, who used that? Remember, too much of anything is not a good thing. Avoid cliched flashbacks and remember to use P-O-S.